I am in love. I love, love, love the way that this table turned out, you guys. I am so thankful that my husband knows his way around tools because if I had tried to make this by myself, it would have turned out completely, completely different. Um, I love that uh, we had the wood that we needed for the top and actually it has been outside for quite uh, a couple of seasons and the finish the the you know the worn out finish it's all even on both pieces so that worked out great I didn't really want to have to buy an extra piece that looks somewhat new and have it to to be mismatched but this this finish this came out just so so nice I think um, and I have been wanted a table out here for like the longest time but I didn't want to just get any table um, I wanted something that it will match with my vegetable garden and the feet that I found on Amazon um, they're they're just perfect there is a, a space for me at the bottom where the feet are for adding an extra shelf um, I think that I'm going to get a piece of wood for that because I definitely don't have one that it's um, a little bit wider than the ones on top and I think I'm going to paint that black just so that the feet kind of um, match all together and I can use that space for containers or whatever. I still don't know where I am going to be placing this table. Um, I have a couple of ideas. It will take some redoing, some um, invading of the lawn a little bit. I don't know. There, I'm playing with a couple of options in my mind but I'm still not quite sure. So for the time being it's just gonna have to be back here. Um, I just, I just love it so much. I want to make it a focal point somewhere. I don't have a lot of space to use, so uh, it's just one of those things. But also, I am trying to convince my husband to do a Q&A video with me. So I posted something on the community page and also on my Instagram a couple of days ago. If you would like to ask something to my husband, garden related only, of course, feel free to leave that in the comments. Just make sure to make a note that you're asking my husband, you know, whatever questions you have for him regarding the garden or the things that he does or doesn't do in the garden. I think it will be a fun video to see what you know what he thinks also today i'm going to show you a bunch of things that i'm going to be direct sewing in my beds i had a bunch of zucchini there in one of my beds and i just took those out because they were definitely down for the season and now i have a bunch of extra space there where i am going to be putting a bunch of seeds so let me just show you how that's gonna go This is the area where I had uh, three of my zucchini plants. They were completely taken over this whole this whole area right here in, in the vegetable garden. There seems to be, I have a problem with the squirrel. She or he is not eating anything, but it's just making a lot of holes, like randomly. I don't know, like I have a huge hole over there. Like, I don't know if uh, they were digging for something. Um, I don't know, but I had radishes on another spot that they were just germinating and he made holes like like every five inches around the radishes but did not eat the radishes. I don't I don't know. I don't get it. I am going to be using this whole spot here for some cooler plants. I am going to be covering all of this spot right here with uh, lettuce. I have a collection of lettuce that I have been collecting the last couple of years. I need to use them and I'll probably put some uh, maybe radishes and some beets here and there with some carrots. I don't know how they're going to do it. I am not the best with fall vegetables, planting fall vegetables, but um, every year I feel like I maybe get a little bit more into it. I am going to be also planting some basil from seed. I do have some uh, other basil going already and definitely cilantro. So I am going to show you a few things. I'm going to speed this up so that you don't have to watch everything. But with lettuce, basically I use uh, overseed and then I use uh, basically like cut and go. I, I don't know if that's how you call it. But uh, as soon as the lettuce starts appearing, I just cut it, you know, to eat it. And then, you know, it's just kind of like producing a lot at the same time. So that's my plan for today. I have a lot of space here. I weeded the other day and I'm excited. I'm excited to show you.
on this part right here I am going to plant uh, a bunch of bush beans I have some older seeds from last year uh, that they were packaged for last year but I think that they're going to be fine and I am somewhat still on a good time for planting bush beans these are dragon dragon tongue bush beans and for these guys I'm just going to make a row I'm gonna make a few rows I don't know maybe about six inches apart or so actually I'm gonna take them all the way back here I mean why not no no not okay so I'm going to make five rows right over there and because these are older these are older seeds I am um, I'm just going to put them really close and if they all germinate I am just going to thin them out a little bit the ones that are too close I have bush beans on another area but they are um, I am letting those go to sea basically I'm letting the little pots with the beans in it just brown all the way so that I can save some seeds for next year and I have been getting a lot a lot of um, beans from that green beans that is so I'm just going to cover them but it is so weird that squirrel making holes randomly I mean not really eating anything but just making holes wonder if um, he or she is looking for something all right so that's it for this video you guys I hope that you enjoy it if you learn something new let me know if you are inspired to do something in your own garden I would love if you share this video with others so they can also get inspired Thank you for being here and until the next time.